Hello, everybody. My name is Robert Hollis. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day. Make sure you share this with everyone. We're at 142 people right now. So uh, make sure that you share with everyone. And what this is all about is Joshua Daramella, uh, one of my top leaders in Nigeria, said, hey, why does Hungary and Romania, why do they get a live one? Why does the United States get a live one? Can I have one for the Africans? And, uh, and and people in Africa? And the answer is absolutely yes. Joel said that, that he would help me out. <clears throat> so everyone give a hand to Joel. I'm going to tell you some quick things about Joel Harris. Uh, the very first thing that I'm going to share with you is just a couple of images. Um, for those of you that, that know uh, what these images are, if I would have seen this image, I wouldn't know what it is. But you know, this is jo uh, um, Joel Aris again, 17,747 pips, one. Uh, what do I know about this? Is this word one? I, I understand one versus lost. <laughs> so you can see here, uh, just, just incredible uh, what Joel's doing. And then, of course, he did the tap to trade. And the other thing I wanted to share with you guys is... Um, there's no better way for me to tell you how incredible Joel is without showing you Tradex Mastery. What I want to share with you guys here is, if you see this, I'll get it a little bigger here. But there's no nothing better than having your students win. So Arthur Wenyo, number one, he's at 29,000 or 29% now. Uh, you can see all his trades. And what's unique about Arthur is he's also withdrawn over $10,000 already. So can you imagine, uh, you see here in 38 days, a uh, little over a month to make, you know, uh, 39, uh, 39,000 in profits, amazing. And then second place is also Tanya, <clears throat> she's at 27. But I, I can tell you right now that there's two groups of people that are gonna watch this live. And, and one group of people are going to do what Joel said, and they're going to be on this board. And then there's a group of you who are going to do what you think that Joel said, and you won't be on this board. <laughs> <laughs> so we have 158 uh, people on here. It's really exciting. The last thing I want to show you is Joel's not only incredible <clears throat> at, at teaching you how to trade, but this was last month, September and he was also on the leaderboard with 25 new traders that, that are with Akashic. So uh, that's a good enough pay close, close attention. And I see, I know Arthur's on here. Uh, I seen him a little bit. So it, it's really, really awesome. So each and every one of you, uh, please give a warm, warm welcome to Joel Aris. All right. Well, thank you so much, Robert, for for that introduction. It's always a, a pleasure to to be with your your team. And just so you guys know, you guys have the priority as well. So whenever you know Robert is like, let's do a call, be like, let's do it. Okay. So just know that if you got if you have more teams, then I'll be more than happy to keep doing this. Okay. Excellent. Po Poland's next. They're they got three people in the top ten. So Poland will be next. Awesome. Well, we'll do that. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys' time. I appreciate uh, everybody from, you know, from anywhere in the world, from Africa in this in this call. And maybe some of you are in the States right now. But thank you so much for being here and for the time that you're going to spend here with me. I'm, I'm probably going to um, use 40 minutes of your time um, and it will be well spent. Okay, it will be it will be worth it. Now, this session or this call, I actually did it in in the academy as well but it's always good to do a little bit of a refresh and you guys get to you know have a vip space uh with me we'll do some q a afterwards which i don't you know we, we didn't get to do that in akasha much but you guys get the privilege to do a one-on-one -on -one pretty much okay so let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna share my screen really quick uh, okay first of all um who here has made some money with tap to trade recently? I just want to ask that question. You know, in this week, who has made some money with tap to trade? Put seven seven sevens in the chat if you uh, if uh, you won something. I won one today, Joel. Thank you very much. Great. This week, guys, we are up four percent this week so far, and it's Tuesday. 
So we're probably going to slow down a little bit because I'm traveling to the Y tomorrow. But uh, <laughs> but 4% is 4%. Okay, It's better than a bank will give you. And that's the potential we have here in Akashas. That's the potential we have here with this amazing company, uh, My Daily Choice. And so uh, what I want you guys to show you today is um, a little bit of how you should trade with me. Because, you know, it's it's great that we're winning. It's great that we're we're making things happen. But you need to know how to win and how to avoid losing. One of my biggest, you know, strategies is not the trading strategy. It's the strategy of helping people not to lose. Because, yes, trades can go opposite. Trades can be a headache sometimes. But what you guys need to understand, it's how to avoid losses. And so far, our win rate has been pretty high because of this concept. Okay, so welcome to learn how to trade with me. Uh, there's a couple of things you need to know. Number one, I send up to five trades per session. If you guys don't know what a session is, it, they're right here in the screen. They're called London, New York, Sydney, Tokyo. Okay, these sessions <clears throat> are when the market or the banks are open in those continents or in this side of the world. Okay, for example, the New York session starts at 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. New York time. Why? Because that's when the banks open in New York or in EST time, Eastern time. Okay, now London, the bank opens at 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. London or UK time or European right time, which is in seven to five hours different from the States. Okay, and so the market is constantly opening depending on where you are. And so these sessions are sessions that you can take advantage of by taking trades with me. Now, I sent up to five trades, five trades per session. What is that multiplied by four? 20. Okay, so you could, just could, okay, because it's not guaranteed. You could receive 20 trades in a day if you're awake for these sessions. Now, if you're not awake for these sessions, you would at least get five, you know, depending on, on your session. Now, in the chat, I want you guys to send a number um, of how many trades have you noticed I call during the time that you're awake. During the time that you're awake, how many trades have you noticed that you have received from me? So I see 10 to 12, 5, 4, 15, Arthur. <laughs> He takes them all. <laughs> you know, Arthur, that's the reason why he's number one, I guess. Um, okay, so five to six, six, nine. Okay, so you guys can see that you receive trades. And the reason that I sent a lot of trades is not because I'm a freaking maniac that loves to stay in the market. You know, I also have other responsibilities. I don't have kids but I have a wife and we have a dog and I like to invest in real estate businesses with my family. And so, you know, I, I'm doing other stuff. But the reason I call a lot of trades, it's because I understand that not everybody is going to be able to catch one session. Not everybody is going to be awake during the New York session. And so I call multiple entries, not for you to take all of them, but for you to take the ones that you're able to, okay? Other companies, and I, I'm speaking out of experience because I've been in this industry for eight years, guys, and other academies, trading academies, the educators mostly trade New York, and then they forget about the rest, and they don't realize that there is teams in Europe and other sides of the world that don't get to trade New York. And so we're fixing this issue by allowing you guys to have multiple options to take, okay? So that's number one. Number two, you need to follow, and this is very serious, you need to follow one of my trading plans if you're copying my trades. Remember, this Zoom is about learn how to trade with me. If you wanna have the win rate, the results that a lot of people are having, you need to follow what they're doing which is following one of my trading plans. If you've been in the trading industry before and you understand trading, that's great, amazing. But learn my trading plans because the trading plan is what's going to help you keep the results and get more results.
instead of losing the results, okay? And then last but not least, be very disciplined with your risk. You know, my trades carry a lot of pips in stop loss, 100, 200 pips, because we let the trade right. You know, we let the trade run. But if you don't put the right lot size, that can hurt your account. Okay. And so that goes with the trading plan. And just a friendly reminder to be very disciplined with your risk. Okay. Now, a little bit of a recap. Just pick a trading plan that you like, which I'm going to teach you today. Pick a trading plan. Don't take all my trades, just the ones you're able to catch. Leave your emotions behind. And I want to be very clear with this one. A lot of people close trades because they're negative. If you put the right lot size, you should not close trades at any moment until they hit stop loss or TP. I know it's scary, but you need to don't get attached to the money. You need to get attached to the vision rather than the money. Okay. So that's why I left that one over there. Leave the emotions behind. If you see the trade in red, just if you did everything right, you know what you're going to lose, which it shouldn't be a lot. And you know what you're going to win. Okay. And then again, be disciplined with your lot size. So <clears throat> this training, I usually do it uh, starting with a little bit of mindset and trading plan uh, because these two go together. You cannot have a really good trading plan without following a really good mindset and you cannot have a good mindset without having money or trading plan. Okay. So uh, the first step that we, we talk about on this is evaluate yourself. This is an invitation for everybody that's trading at the moment or not to evaluate yourself. You know, what are you doing? Why are you telling yourself every morning? You know, are you coming with positive or negative thoughts towards yourself? Did you wake up this morning saying, oh, it's Tuesday? <laughs> saying like, man, I can't wait to be, you know, for Friday. I can't wait for Saturday because I'm going to go partying. You know, are you waking up telling yourself that you can't make it, that trading is hard, that you're the worst, that you blah, 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 blah. Are you telling yourself all of that or are you telling yourself that you're successful? that you're powerful, that you deserve this, that you're the best, that you're going to make it, you know? And so this, this right here is very important in the trading world. If you don't believe it, then that's okay. I'll see you guys in a year whenever you're back in a caution and realizing that it was true, okay? Maybe not a year, maybe next month. You know, if you quit today, you're gonna realize really soon that this is how it works, okay? So evaluate yourself. Do a self-evaluation every day and then keep those positive thoughts coming through. Don't only think it, but say it, you know, whatever you put in your mind, if you're, you know, if you're next to that thought, then it's going to become true. And with that being said, uh, there's also a law uh, that I really love and it's the manifestation. You know, you gotta, you gotta be able to, to, <clears throat> to attach, to bring what you're thinking. You know, you you have to, you have to dream big. You know, Jenna so well talks about it. Okay. We know a lot of really good people that talk about this uh, really matter. You know, and so if you want to get results, you need to think big. You need to see yourself next to the car you want, next to the trip you want, next to the lifestyle you want. You need to manifest those things. Okay. Yes, Bob Proctor talks about this, and I actually have a training about Bob Proctor in my Akasha channel, if you guys want to wanna go watch that. But we need to associate these laws and take them seriously, because in trading, this is what's going to make you money. This is what's going to get your results. Not the strategy, not Joel, not, not my trading plans, but the way you attract and you put yourself in the right frequency. Okay. Now, with that being said, um, what are you willing to let go to change your life? Don't answer that question here in the chat, but, you know, think about that and answer it and put it in a note. You know, what are you willing to let go to change your life? Is you being lazy something you're willing to let go? Are you being too negative? Is, is that something you're willing to let go? Spending too much time in your phone watching reels? I'm not saying that's bad. I love watching reels, but are you spending two hours straight watching reels, that there is a difference, right? So what are you willing to let go to change your life, okay? Bob Proctor said, oops, and I skipped that. Bob Proctor said, the only limits in our lives are those that we impose in ourselves. 
And so life doesn't have limits. There's no limits for anything you want to achieve in life. The only limits are the ones that we put. Okay. A limit in trading. I'm old. A lot of people say that. I'm just too old. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I'm too old. Another limit. I don't know about math. I don't know anything about math. You don't need to know math. You know, um, there is a lot of limits that I can think of that I heard before. Right. From people saying about trading. And the reality is that there's no limits. I'm pretty sure Arthur, he doesn't have a limit in that trading account. He's going to grow that to probably a million dollars. You know, and he's going to get that done because he doesn't have a limit. And that's amazing. And so, again, the only limit are the ones that you put in front of you. OK, no glass ceiling, says, says Arthur. And with that being said, guys, what we're going to do, uh, the trading part and without uh, risk disclaimer, there's nothing to do in trading. But just know that trading is a risk, especially if you don't follow a trading plan, okay? So we're not responsible for any of that, but we're, our goal here is to help you achieve your goals by trading smart, not casino, okay? We're gonna leave casino for Vegas. We're gonna trade smart here, okay? Now, a trading plan. <clears throat> I have three different trading plans, guys. These trading plans are for you to pick, okay? You cannot do all of them. You have to pick which one fits the best for you. There's three styles because I understand there's different people and everybody feels and do things differently, okay? For example, there's some people that like to risk a lot, to make a lot. And there's people that don't like to risk because they're afraid of losing money. And in the meantime, for a brand new person, that's okay, you know? And so if you're in that position, then you have to use a specific trading plan that fits you, you know? And so that's why I created three. Three so far, I'm gonna release another one later as we go. So you guys will learn about it. But um, the first, it's called the flash trading plan. Now who here, let me just ask that question. Who here likes to risk, not a lot, but likes to risk, AKA a lot, okay? Okay, I see Robert. Robert is a risker, <laughs> that's great. Okay, so who likes to risk? see a lot of people that do. If you don't like to risk, that's okay, you know, but who does? Okay, I see a lot of people that, that like to risk a lot. So if this is you, if you feel comfortable risking money a lot, then this is your trading plan. And we're going to talk about this, okay? Now, I divided this in two sections. One, the funded section and the challenge phase. We're only going to talk about the challenge because I'm pretty sure like 85% here are still in the faces, okay? Now, my goal is to turn that to 85 people being funded so that we can do this soon in like a month or two and talk about the other side, okay? The funded one, okay? So for now, we're gonna talk about the challenge phase. And this right here are three steps you need to follow if you're going to do this risky plan called flash plan. Okay. Number one, you need to create a weekly goal. If you don't set goals, you're going nowhere. Okay. And so you need to create a weekly goal. What percentage do you want to grow through your account this week? Okay. So I'm going to ask that question in the chat. What percentage would you like to see your account this week? 3%. Set a specific a realistic goal also that is going to push you. Don't say 30%. Okay. Say three, five, eight percent, you know, that's something realistic that's still going to push you, okay? So what's your weekly goal? Two percent, ten percent, five to ten, great, okay? The next step that you need to do, I see someone put 60 percent. You're going to push yourself there, but okay. So the next thing that you need to do is you don't make 40 percent of your goal target per day. Now, the reason that I created this section over here is so that everybody learns discipline because a big mistake with people that risk a lot is that they want to make it back quick and they want to make big banks. They want to make tons of money all at once. For example, if you're a big risker, 
I can see you putting a lot size 10 on goal, wanting to make $10,000 with a 100 pip move. It's completely possible, but guess what? It's gonna blow your account in two seconds, especially if, you're, if your account is small, okay? So the reason I created this is so that you can learn consistency and that consistency is going to take you to be funded and to keep that account after you're funded. And we're gonna see some numbers after this. And then last but not least, create a daily goal. So now we know that we need to create a weekly goal, stay consistent, and then create a daily goal, okay? Let me show you what that looks like. So with that being said, I'm gonna do an example of a 50K account. If you have a 50K account, this is your lucky day. I, I did the homework for you. If you don't have a 50K account, um, I will teach you how to do this with your 25, your 10, your 100, your 200K account, okay? But if you have a 50, lucky day. So if we are in the challenge phase and my goal, this is just an example. If my goal is to make 2.5% of the account in that week, there's four weeks, guys, which means in a month, my phase one will be done. Okay, that's the goal. So my goal for a week is 2.5. That means I have to make $1,250, which is equal to 0.5% of 50K. Now we know that we don't make 40% of our goal. So 40% of 1250 is 625. So this right here just means that I should not and must know and would not make $625 in a day. Why? And I know a lot of people are like, why? But I want to get it done quick. That's not the goal. The goal is to create consistency and not get it done in a day. Okay. And so you don't want to make, because guess what? You make this, you make already half, almost half of this, which means in two days you could be done. And that's not the goal. Okay. You don't want to make 40% of your goal. Now, instead of making that, let's make half of that per day. So we're going to make $312 per day, per day, so that in the week, five days, you will make 12.50. Again, the goal is consistency rather than making everything just the first day, okay? So that's not good for your brain. Now, $312, how do we divide that? Simple, we're gonna take three trades, focus on this side of the, of the chart. We're gonna take three trades, we only need to make $104 per trade, you know, times three, that equals 312. Now, let me ask you this question here based on your experience. Those of you that have been trading here in Akash and sticking the trades, have you been able to make $104 in a day or in a trade, sorry, in a trade? Like in a single trade, have you made $104? Yes, absolutely, it's very possible. Now, the only thing you need to do is take three trades. I wanna make a big parenthesis here. Three trades doesn't mean you're gonna enter three times in the same in, in the same trade that I call. Three trades means I send one trade, you take one, one singular trade, you wait until you clear, you made money with that one, and then you wait until I send the next one. Okay, that's what I mean by three trades. You don't take three entries all at once, you take one at the time, okay? So if you're going to make $104 per trade, this is your equation per se. The flash trading plan, it's an aggressive trading plan because we look to get out of the trade like this, like super fast. And let me ask you this question. How many times do we hit TP1 in the trades? in the trade alerts. It's pretty quick and it's pretty often, right? I know that uh, Crypto Soul or Sultan is, is having the, uh, the equation because he's following that record. And he said 80% of the time it hits TP1. You know, a lot of you are saying 90% of the time. I'm gonna even say and dare to say that 94% of the time we hit TP1, okay? 94% of the time, and this is not guaranteed. This is just, you know, me based on what I've seen on my own trades. 94% of the times we hit TP1, okay? 
This is tray alerts, not, not top to trade, tray alerts. Okay, so if we hit 94% of the time TP1, and if you want to be aggressive and just be done quick, then you can set your TP at TP1. Because with that, you will make the $104. Now, what lot size do you need? For a 50K account, you need this, 0 0.34 lots. If it hits TP1 within five minutes, 10 minutes, you will make $104 with this lot size. And you'll be done. You'll be done until I call the next trade. Okay? You don't like to risk a lot, maybe because this is too much. Okay, then go to 0 0.17 lot size on a 50K account and choose TP2. Now, how many times do we hit TP2? How many times do we hit TP2? It's also pretty, pretty common, pretty often. Okay, let me want to show you that is one second. Okay, let me just share my screen over here. I'm gonna show you a secret. Don't tell Josh I show I show you this page. Okay. So this is the educator page where we send the trailers and everything else. Okay. So this week alone started over here. Wait, no, two days ago, over here. We started with this London trade. It hit TP3. Okay, so boom, one. We lost one trade. Sucks. TP3, the other one, TP3, the other one, TP4, TP3, TP2, TP2, and TP1 right now with the latest uh, trailer. And so TP2 hit at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times out of nine trades that I sent. Okay, so if you don't like to risk a lot, let's go back to the presentation. If you don't like to risk a lot and you wanna risk less, then set your TP target to TP2. And with that, you will make the $104, okay? You're not making more, you're making the $104, okay? Because you reduce your, your lot size. Now, if you absolutely don't feel comfortable with that, you're still in the work in progress with the flash trading plan getting used to, then set your target to TP3, okay? And how many times did we hit TP3? One, two, three, four, five, five times out of the nine one that we call, okay? And listen, the other ones are still active. It doesn't mean that they hit stop loss. They're just still running. They haven't hit TP3. I'm pretty sure they hit and I haven't updated, okay? So it depends on where you're most comfortable, but if you are a big risker, then you can be done if you set TP1. If you're not comfortable, then you can you know go to the other two. Now, Joel, I don't have a 50K account. What lot size should I use? Well, there's two solutions to that equation. Number one, you can go watch my trading sessions, which I teach you about how to calculate your lot size. Number two, and then because I like rubber, I'm gonna tell you how to do this even simpler. So if you have a 25K account, just divide this in two. You know, if you're going for a TP1, your lot size, it's not 0 0.34, it's 0 0.17, right? It makes sense because it's half of 50, right? Now, if you're going for TP2, your lot size is not 0 0.17, it's 0 0.08, right? Makes sense, again, great. Now, you have a 10K account, then your, probably your TP1 should be 0 0.08 and you start, you start dividing that by two, okay? You have a 100K account, then 0 0.34 times two. Because again, 50, 100, that's half, right? So instead of trading with 0 0.34 in 100K, you trade with 0 0.68. And you do the same thing over here, okay? So that's, that's the little secret to make it easy. It's not complicated to do that math. You just need to either subtract or divide by two or multiply by two. Okay, divide by two, multiply by two, depending on the account size you have, okay? Now, that's the flash trading plan. That's just one trading plan that I have. Let's learn about the other one. The other one is called the reversal or the smart cash trading plan. I don't know if you guys noticed, but 
there are scanners in the academy completely free included with your subscription that you can use that you can use to trade whenever I'm not around. So <laughs> doesn't mean I'm dead, but whenever I'm sleeping, you know, or busy, or I, I didn't catch a, a, a trailer that I, you know, put for myself. So whenever I'm not around, you can use the scanner that it's designed with my strategy. You know, the very first concepts that I teach are in that smart cash scanner and you guys can learn about it. Okay. I have a video about this in my, in my session replace. Okay. But if you want to trade with this, just know that this plan, it's a little bit less risk than the flash one, but it's a quick one. Okay, you want to make money quick? This is also your trading plan. Okay, why? We're risking 0.3% of the account. That's not a lot. That's a really consistent percentage, if I want to say. We're not risking a lot, but we're making money. Okay, and we're going to take two to three trades. Two to three trades. Okay, that's the max. The very important concept of this is that the scanner is very precise. I'm not going to say it's perfect. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but it's very precise that if you lose one trade, you're out. So you don't want to take more trades. You don't want to keep trading the scanner until the next day. Okay. If you lose one, get out. Our only risk here is 0.3%. We only risk $150. If we lose that one, then we lose it. Okay. But because it's so precise, we can win two to three trades in a row within maybe 30 to 40 minutes, okay? We can win two to three trades, giving you 300 to $450 in profit with only risking 150. Simple math. You're risking little to make more, okay? So again, this one is very precise for you to be very responsible. The lot size you should use is 0 0.37. With that one, you'll be able to make $150 every trade okay and you only take three or two or three now if you lose one you let it go joel i don't have a 50k account easy if you have a 100k account then multiply this by two if you have a 25k account then divide this by two you know and so on all right and last but not least because we're running out of time here but last but not least the master trading plan the master trading plan okay this one, guys, is for those of you that are brand, brand new. If you're brand new, you've never been in trading, you don't want to start risking a lot. You want to start getting used to trading, okay? And so, or maybe this is you that you like to be more conservative. That's okay. I've seen a lot of people make a lot of money with this. Or this is your trading plan if your account is negative. If somehow you messed up because, you know, mistakes happen, we're humans. Somehow you messed up and your account is negative a thousand dollars. This is your trading plan until you're able to to recover that money you lost. Then you can switch to another one. Okay, but with this one, guys, we're risking zero point one percent. That's not a lot. That's like I don't know. That's a a steak or a dinner or something. You know, depending on your account size. But zero point one percent risk per trade. It's not a lot. Okay, what do we know about this? We take three to five trades per session. Now, listen, this one is going to have you take a lot of trades because now we know that we, we send, I don't know, 15, 20 trades in a day. But again, the idea of this is for you to take the ones that you can, that you're able to follow, okay? Now, we take three to five trades per session, right? What sessions, New York, London, Tokyo, Sydney, all the sessions that we talk about, okay? We're risking 100 to 130 pips and we're winning 20 to 300 pips per trade, okay? We're gonna risk $50 in a 50K account, that's $50, 100K account, it's $100 and so on, right? $50 is not a lot. You will not be able to burn your account using this trading plan unless, unless we lose like, 15 or 20 trades in a row. Like all of them will go to stop loss. You will not lose your account with this trading plan because it's a very conservative one, okay? Now, we're gonna risk, if you take five trades, 
let's say you take five trades in a day, you're going to risk $250, which is not a lot. Again, $250 with the possibility to make 500 and more, okay? In the single session with five trades, okay? Now, there are some rules with this that, like Robert said, if you follow them, you're going to be on that leaderboard. If you don't follow them, then we'll see you in a month, okay? Now, these rules are here to be followed because the trading plan is so precise as well. So it's divided by two. If your account is positive or if your account is negative. And I don't want you guys to tell me which side you're on. That's on you, okay? But if your account is positive, that means you have made profit. So if you have 50K, now you have 50K 500. This is your side. But if your account is negative, you lost $1,000, 500, XYZ, then this is your side, okay? You cannot jump from side to side until you move, okay? What do I mean by this? If your account is negative, you're gonna stay on that side until your account is a break even. If your account is back to 50K, then you can move to this side, okay? If your account is back at where it started, you can move to the positive account or you can try the flash trading plan, okay? Now, if your account is negative, let's talk about that one first. If your account is negative, whenever we hit TP1, okay, reset, sorry. Whenever we enter a trade alert, this is very clear because I, I still get messages from people with this. Whenever I send a trade, you only take one entry per trade and your TP should be TP5. Whenever you enter all the data to Trade Locker or MetaTrader or whatever, you put stop loss and you put the TP at the last TP5 I call. Only one trade and last TP. You don't take one trade per TP because that's gonna just burn your account pretty much, okay? So now that that's clear, whenever you take a trade and TP1 hits, you must close partials and move your stop loss to break even. Now, what do I mean by that? Closing partials is closing half of what you're risking already and you're closing half of the profit you made at TP1. And then the rest is that you move your stop loss from the original price and you put it at the entry point. If the trade comes back and it hits the entry point, then you're out, but you didn't lose money. You made a couple bucks. Why? Because you closed partials at TP1. You made money. You didn't lose. You made money. And if it came back, you didn't lose. You just close at whatever you made already. Okay. This is great because your goal is not to lose money. If your account is negative, you want to recover that money, but instead of recovering, putting a lot of lot sizes, you recover it in a conservative way, okay? And so you move your stop loss to break even. Now, let's say that the trade did not come back and did not take you out. Then at TP2, you move your stop loss to TP1. So you start moving your stop loss up. And if that trade comes back, number one, you already close partials over here in this step. And number two, if it comes back and it hits your stop loss at TP1, it's gonna close in even more profits. So you already made partials and you made profits at TP1. It's an amazing equation. It's an amazing solution for those that have a negative account, okay? Now, if the trade kept going up and it never like came back to the other you know, stop loss that you set, then you start moving your stop loss up as we hit more TPs, okay? TP2 hit, uh, TP3 hit, then you move your stop loss to TP2. TP4 hit, you move your stop loss at TP3 and boom, let the rest happen, okay? That's if your account is negative. If your account is positive, then you follow exactly what it says over here, that TP1, you don't do anything. You don't close partials. You don't stress about it. You don't do anything because you have money to risk. You have profit to risk. So we don't do anything. Now, if it hits TP2, then you close partials you close a big chunk because at TP2, it should be a good amount. Uh, you close partials and then you move your stop loss to break even. 
And then after that, you start doing the same thing that I just mentioned over here. As soon as we hit the other TP, you move your stop loss to the previous TP. We hit the other one, move your stop loss up, okay? And that's it. Like this is the master key plan if you want a consistent trading plan. There's no good and bad trading plan. It's just the one that fits you the most, okay? If you like to be risky, flash is for you. If you like to use the scanner, reversal is for you. If you like to be conservative, the master plan is for you. They all work. They all make a lot of people money. But what you have to be sure is that you're following it. Because if you think that you know it, then you don't know it. Okay? I heard a lot of people like, oh, I already know about that. I don't need to learn it. Then where are your results? Okay? Follow it like, like it's a tattoo in your hand. You know, don't tattoo it. I don't want that. But just print it, have it with you, and know it. Okay? Know it because that's what's going to help you. Now, last couple things. If you didn't understand anything about what I said, if this is your first time and I just spoke, I don't know, another language, then you can come back and watch these videos, uh, which are the ones that I already talked about today in this Zoom but individual ones, okay? So right here, I teach you about the flash training plan, reversal, and then right here, I teach you about the master training plan. Okay, you can see the dates and you can find that in my session replays. And last but not least, this Smart Cash Scanner, you can come and watch that. If you don't know how to use the scanner, if you wanna implement that, you can for sure go watch that replay session as well. And that was it for me. Um, we're gonna open some Q&A, if that's okay, Robert. And yeah, absolutely. Uh, the first question. Thank you very much, Joel. You 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 just get better and better, gooder and gooder. <laughs> I had a person on here, Margaret, asked, uh, "Where are your results?" And Margaret, not to be mean, but if you're on this uh, Zoom on time, you would have seen me show you Joel's results. So uh, uh, anybody uh, else? Um, so go back and watch the replay. It will be on my YouTube channel. Uh, youtube.com forward slash Robert Hollis. Um, <clears throat> but we, we could oh, go ahead. It. Show. Thank you. <laughs> uh, right here. You can actually see this is the great thing about Akashits is that um, the educators that we call tap to trades, uh, not trade alerts, but tap to trades. Um, we get what's it called recorded. Like everything that we do, it's it's recorded in the books and, and for you guys to see the transparency. And so you can come to Tap Traders. You can click on my profile, and you can see the stats. You know, this month we're twenty eight percent up, almost 30, 28.6 percent up. We won ninety trades. We lost seventeen trades. We are in a nine trade winning strike, zero trades. You know, lost strike. And so you can see these stats not only for me but all the educators. And that's like you know, these are the results. Now, besides that, and I come up with all the flyers that. Like Robert said, if you were here at the beginning, you will be able to see and you're going to continue to see them every week as well. Craig, uh, you've been watching the chat. Any other questions that pop up? I actually have two that I think will apply for today's uh, Zoom. The first one is from Justin. He says, please explain what you mean by close partials. Okay. So close partials is closing half of your position, okay? Like I said, if you, let, let's put an example. If you put a trade with one lot, if that was the lot that, you know, the equation gave you, if one lot was your lot, closing partials is closing half of that lot, which means you're going to close 0 0.5 lots and you're going to leave open 0 0.5, okay? Let me see if I, I don't really trade my computer, so I don't have trade locker open, but if I get it open and I can show you guys, I'll just do it really quick, okay? Okay. Okay, we can answer another question while, while I finish. Oh yeah, another okay. one is, uh, we answered for her, but uh, uh, um, person that, which plan works for TTT, tap to trade? And uh, we responded, just tap and trade is trap to trade. <laughs> but please explain. 
Yes. So tap to trade is tap to trade. And the good thing is that you don't have to worry about anything if you take it within the two minutes, right? Because the rest, I'm doing it. Like I'm, a, I'm applying my trading plan to tap to trade when I take my tap to trades, you know? And so if you want a more precise answer, I use the flash trading plan to tap to trade, but you don't need to worry about anything other than just taking the trade and putting the right lot size. That's the most important part, putting the right lot size. <clears throat> Excellent. And another question, if you can, from Coach Bob, he says, uh, please talk about discipline on trading. Some of my big losses, I try to double down. And I know you have certain stop losses personally on a daily basis that you consider as your uh, being disciplined. Okay, I didn't quite get that last part. In uh, other words, you, you have set examples, like you only lose a certain amount per day as part of your trading plan. And this is, I think, what is he is referring to is what would you consider a good discipline that you use for profit as well as loss? Okay. So what I do, guys, and, and just for you guys know, I'm going to be very honest. In my, I have a lot of accounts, okay? I have an, a funded account with TradeX already passed. I have a funded account in another prop firm. I have my real broker. I have XYZ, right? But I don't take all of my trades in a single account. You know, I, I multiply and diversify depending on, on my goal. And so the number one thing is what goal do you have? You know, I want to make, I want to make, I don't know, 1% this week or 5% this week in all my accounts, you know? And with that being said, also the stop loss should be, you know, a goal in your, in your head. So if I hit two stop loss, I'm done. I'm done for the day and come back tomorrow you know, or come back later. So I don't, I don't know if I can answer specifically to that because it's going to come to a personal note. What are you most comfortable with? You know, it, I'm comfortable with two losses with my, my strategy and I'm comfortable with leaving trades open with the higher stop loss because I'm in with the right risk. <clears throat> so yeah. I don't know if that answers your question. Well, I seen he also put in here because I know Coach Bob and and it's how I know some uh, some other people that have this problem. He says that he buys more when he loses. He doubles down. He does like revenge trading. Uh, do you know of anyone like that, Joel? Yes, a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people. And it happens more than you think, you know, even even us traders or educators and speaking from myself and other ones that I know we sometimes get tempted with the revenge trading, you know, especially because we are the educators and we're, man, that thing is going up, you know, but I'm honestly, I haven't done that in a while, 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 but because I know if I put the right lot size, then I don't need to do that. Now, another thing that I, I do, okay, is if I'm in a trade, personal trade that I don't call to the academy, okay, um, and if the trade comes down like 50 pips, I put a second entry, but instead of doubling and tripling and quadrupling my lot size, I just put the same lot size. Ah. Okay. So I do do that. And as you guys know, I call five trades per session. So I allow myself to take two to three entries with an interval of 50 pips. Okay. I don't know if that's the right word in English, but with the space in between of 50 pips. But if the trade does not go 50 pips against me, I'm not taking more trades. Got it. Okay. And so another again, question, I, another question that since you're talking about pips, just can you briefly explain pips since we're all in one video here? Perfect. Uh, before I do that, so let me share my screen also. So I just took this trade, guys, to be honest, I'm not trading in my account because I already made uh, 3% which is uh, $6,000, well, $5,700. And I'm just waiting to withdraw. But I took this straight just for sacrificing some of that profit <laughs> to show you guys uh, how to close partials, okay? So you go over here. If you're in the app, it's going to be on my trades or positions open, right? You go over here and you have a, a button that says partial close position. It's literally right there. So you just click this button right here. And as you guys can see, I opened this trade as a demonstration with one lot size, okay? If I wanna close partials, 
I will put half of that because partials mean half. So 0 0.5 and I'm going to click close. And as soon as I click close, it's going to, you know, confirm. I'm going to confirm. And now I'm not risking zero. I'm not risking one. I'm risking 0 0.5 and I already secure some profits. In this case, I didn't, of course, because it's a, an example and I'm a negative, but that's how you close partials in, in Trade Locker. Okay. We'll take we'll take one more, Craig, if there is. Uh the PIPs question. Yeah, the PIP question. So uh we can do that here too, now that we're here. So the PIP question. <clears throat> Every dollar that gold moves equals 10 pip. PIP is a it's a name, a representation of it's actually a calculation, but I'm not gonna uh, bore you guys with that. But just know that the word PIP, it's a it's a word that we use in trading to calculate um, an amount of movements in a price, okay? Every pair has different count on pips. You know, we know gold, we know EURUSD, we know GBP, JPY, we, we know NAS. Every pair has a different calculation in pips, okay? But with gold, I do know that one for sure, every dollar it moves, equals 10 pips. So if gold right now is 27.47 and it goes up to 27.48, it moves 10 pips. Okay, $1, 10 pips. $10, 100 pips. Perfect. And Perfect. like we're deep in profit in the tap to trade. I'm gonna close this trade because uh, this was just the example. All right. Nice. Well, Joel, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I learn more every time I get on this. And uh, I appreciate you, each and every one of you. We will have this on replay on, on youtube.com forward slash uh, Robert Hollis. And I do have other ones that Joel has done for us as well. So we'll continue to do this again. Joel, have a great training day. And thank you so much for teaching us uh, how not only to pass the challenge, but also get profits for us and our family. Uh, I love and appreciate you and see you in Dubai. My pleasure. See you guys later.